Hello everyone, I welcome you all for this week's tutorials. In this session, I am going to discuss the solution of model question paper 1 for mathematics 1 for electrical and electronics engineering stream 1 with subject uh, code BMAT E101. As I have discussed uh, in the previous video, module 1, the solution for module 1, module 2, module 3, module 5, but I have left out with only module 4 which is specifically for uh, electrical uh, stream so today i am going to discuss that uh, solution so which is essential for uh, electrical students so you can refer this video and study well for your examination moving on to the solution evaluate integral minus c to c integral minus b to b integral minus a to a x square plus y square plus z square dx dy dz so as it is a constant limits we can integrate by with respect to x y z independently so let us consider the given problem as i and identify the limits so this limits uh, stands for x this limit stands for y and this limit stands for z so once you identify that one different integrate this with respect to x we are going to get integral of x square is x cube by 3 integral of y square is constant with respect to x so it is y square into x plus z square is constant here z square into x limit a to minus a so wherever you have the limit uh, term called x substitute the upper limit uh, limits and minus lower limits so which is a cube minus of minus a whole cube so it becomes minus a cube so minus into minus becomes plus a cube a cube plus a cube is two times of a cube by three plus 2a similarly as it is odd term so we are going to get 2a y square plus 2a z square dy dz now integrating this with respect to y as the first term is constant and the integral of y square is y cube by 3 and this is constant integral of any constant term with respect to that variable will be that same vari variable we are going to get that is y limit minus b2 plus b dz wherever you have y substitute the upper limit minus lower limit so here we have y b minus of minus b becomes b plus b which is 2b 2 into 2 becomes 4a cube b divided by 3 similarly here y cube we have substituting the limits we are going to get 2b cube 2 into 2 4a b cube by 3 here also if you substitute the limits we are going to get 2b so 2b into 2a becomes 4ab z square now integrating this constant terms with respect to z uh, and variable with wherever we have z we can integrate the term with respect to z we are going to get 4a cube by b by 3z plus 4ab cube by 3z plus 4ab z cube by 3 substitute the limits and after simplification we are going to get the required result as 8abc by 3 times of a square plus b square plus c square is the required solution for the given triple integral. Moving on to next question. Change the order of integration and evaluate integral 0 to 1, integral square root of y to y, uh, square root of y to y dx dy. So consider the given problem as i. I will name that as i equal to integral 0 to 1 integral square root of y to y dx dy as there is a, the variable dx here so as we have the limits as a y here terms containing y alone so this limits will be stands for x here and similarly this is constant term this limit is stands for y so after changing the order of integration this is what the graph we have considered so this is what x square equal to y and this is the line x equal to y and this is the line x equal to 1 and this is the line x equal to 0 this is y equal to 0 y equal to 1 so this is what the boundary uh, area bounded by the given curves so we are going to change the order as earlier we are going to have y ranges from 0 to 1 we are going to write x ranges from horizontally x ranges from 0 to 1 so vertically if I see I am going to get uh, the y axis y equal to x square this is what the curve called x, x square to x x square to x we are going to get. So integrating that with respect to 
y and x we are going to get y limits y, uh, y equal to x square to x dx substitute the limit upper limit minus lower limit x minus x square dx now integrating this with respect to x and taking the limit 0 to 1 we are going to get the required result as 1 by 6 you can go through the simplification part it is 1 by 6 Similarly, moving on to next question, show that integral 0 to pi by 2 d theta by sin uh, square root of sin theta into integral 0 to pi by 2 square root of uh, sin theta d theta is equal to pi. So, let us uh, name the first term as i, i1. So, integral 0 to pi by 2 d theta divided by square root of sin theta, which is equal to applying uh, loss of uh, indices, we are going to get uh, sin power minus 1 by 2 theta d theta is equal to integral 0 to pi by 2 sin power minus 1 by 2 theta into cos power theta t theta. So, i1 will be equal to integral 0 to pi by 2 sin power minus 1 by 2 theta into cos power 0 theta d theta which is equal which is multiplied by integral 0 to pi by 2 integral 0 to pi by 2 sin power 1 by 2 theta into cos power 0 theta d theta. So, as we know that integral 0 to pi by 2 sin power m cos theta into cos power n uh, theta d theta which will be equal to 1 by 2 times of beta of m plus 1 divided by 2 comma n plus 1 divided by 2. So, uh, comparing this expression with this expression m will be equal to 1 by 2 and n will be equal to 0. Substitute those two values I am going to get 1 by 2 times of beta of 1 by 2 by 2 comma 1 by 2 is nothing but 1 by 4 comma 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 times of beta of 3 by 2 divided by 2 comma 1 by 2. Simplifying this I am going to get i equal to 1 by 2 times of beta of 1 by 2 comma 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 times of beta of 3 by comma 1 by 2. By applying the definition of uh, beta and gamma relationship I have already solved that uh, relation between beta and gamma in the previous video you can refer that uh, video now using that definition you can write that as 1 by 4 times of gamma of m into gamma of n divided by gamma of m plus n which is equal to which is equal to 1 by 4 times of gamma of 1 by 4 into gamma of 1 by 2 divided by gamma of 3 by 4 so similarly write down uh, the relationship between beta and gamma for this value we are going to get uh, gamma of 3 by 4 into gamma of 1 by 2 divided by gamma of 5 by 4. So, simplifying this, I am going to get uh, the value of uh, the given problem as pi. As it is very important problem, you can solve easily in your final examination. Question number 8a. Evaluate integral 0 to 1, integral 0 to square root of 1 minus y square, x square plus y square dx dy by changing to polar coordinates. So, call the given problem as i. Then write down the limit stands for y and x. Then put x equal to 0 and x equal to square root of 1 minus y square. We are going to get x square plus y square equal to 1. This is a circle with center as origin and a radius 1. So next put x equal to r cos theta, y equal to r sin theta. We are going to get x square plus y square equal to r square. But x square plus y square equal to what? 1. Substitute that value 1 equal to r square, r equal to 1 we are going to get. So, it has been proved that radius is equal to 1. Also, x, x equal to 0, y equal to 0, we will we will get r equal to 0. Hence, r ranges from 0 to 1. In the first quadrant, theta value is 0 to pi by 2. So, dx dy is equal to r dr t theta. Just I have substituted uh, the values whatever we have who have went with uh, the substitution. Since here x square plus y square equal to 1 and uh, dr d theta, dx dy is nothing but r dr d theta. So, integrating this with respect to theta, we are going to get uh, theta as there is no term called uh, theta. Integral of any constant will be constant into that variable that is theta. Uh, limit uh, ranges from 0 to pi by 2. So, it will be pi by 2 minus 0. So, pi by 2 minus 0 into r will be r pi by 2. So, as pi by 2 is a constant term, we can take out that uh, common term. We are left out with integral 0 to 1 r dr. Integral of uh, r dr is nothing but r square by 2 limits r equal to 0 to 1. So, upper limit minus lower limit will be 1 here. So, therefore, you are left out with the answer as pi by 
4 is the required result for the given problem of uh, double integration by changing to polar coordinates. We want to the next question use a double integration to find the area between the parabolas y square equal to 4ax and x square equal to 4ay. So consider the given uh, curves in figure. So this is what we have considered x square equal to 4ay and y square equal to 4ax. So the we require to find out the point of intersection. So here this line will be x equal to 4a and this line will be y equal to 4a uh, as this point is 4a comma 4e. How we got a 4a comma 4a means consider the given two curves and substitute one of the value in another curve to find out the points of intersection. We are going to get x power 4 divided by 16 a square is equal to 4ax x power 4 minus 64 a cube uh, x is equal to 0 x times of x cube minus x power 64 a cube equal to 0 x power x equal to 0 and uh, x cube minus uh, 64 a cube equal to 0 x equal to 64 y equal to 0 and y equal to 64 after coming to know that uh, the value of y and x value we are going to get uh, the point of intersections are 0 comma 0 and 4a comma 4a we are going to find out uh, a equal to integral double integral r dy dx so therefore i am going to get x equal to 0 to 4a y equal to x square to x square by 4a to 4a minus 4a x dy dx so which is equal to integral 0 to 4a integral of this y is nothing but y limits uh, x square by 4a to square root of 4ax dx. So therefore after integration uh, after substitution we are going to get square root of 4ax minus x square by 4a dx is equal to integral of uh, 4ax will be equal to x for 3 by 2 divided by 3 by 2 minus uh, integral of x square is x cube by 3 limits 0 to 4a. Substituting the limits we are going to get uh, 2 2 by 3 square root of 4a times of 4a whole power 3 by 2 minus 0 minus 1 by 3 into 4a times of 4a whole cube minus 0. After simplifying this, we are going to get 2 by 3 times of 4a whole power 2 minus 1 by 3 times of 4a whole square. We are going to get 2 by 3 minus 1 by 3 is 1 by 3 times of 4a whole square. So therefore, a will be equal to 16a square by is the required result. Question number 8b has been uh, discussed in the previous uh, video. Derive the relation between beta and uh, gamma function. You can refer to the previous video which has been uh, discussed already. So if you have any doubts you can put a comment. Those who like this video do subscribe to my channel. Thank you all for watching this video.